My scans indicate that this is a high-risk area, mainly on account of it being a tyrannosaur's nest. Oh. Uh. Oh my. Hello everyone and welcome to Robinson the Journey. This is a game where we will be exploring basically a dinosaur planet. If you saw my previous videos on Escape from Dinosaur Island, I believe they're called, 1 and 2, this is what those ended up becoming. The technology tested in those games ended up branching out into this game and the climb, a bow from Crytek, and are on uh, VR headsets. The climb, I've actually give, played a bit of the first climb, there's now two, and while I enjoyed it, it's not very let's playable. <laughs> I don't even think it's reviewable. It's, it's very cool to see the environments, but there's no story or anything like that. I think some environments shift a little as you pass by, but None of them are, you know, particularly interesting to watch, so I probably won't be playing that on this channel unless you guys really want me to. Now, with that in mind, we are currently in space. We're on the main menu, if you couldn't tell. And we are currently in space above what appears to be future Earth. And I actually think this is really cool, because you get to see as it goes by all the lights turning on and... You can see all the, uh, I assume that's either space debris or, you know, spaceships of some kind, some low atmosphere ships. Uh, and you can see, most importantly, in the center here, I think that will be roughly in the center of the camera, uh, the space station that apparently Robinson lived on, uh, for most of his life. Robinson being the character we end up playing. Now with that in mind, I'm getting a little ahead of myself and I'm keeping y'all away from the dinosaurs. So without further ado, let us begin. Above the skies of a distant planet, a ship's journey ends in tragedy. One boy reaches the surface. But he is not alone. Uh... Higgs, take a look at this. My scans indicate that this is a high-risk area. Mainly on account of it being a tyrannosaur's nest. Uh. Oh my. Stay back, Robin. Oh, but she's adorable. She's cute. Hi, baby. Oh, you're so cute. Look at you. You're so tiny. So we're near Tyrannosaurus nest. I like those little rat guys. Hi. I I'm waving, but they can't see me. Or see my hand? Oh god, my hands! This is cool, though. More than a little dangerous to be here, though. Hi! God, you're adorable. Can I get closer? No. <laughs> Alright, so... That's the same controller, so... Here and here. That is a vicious predator. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking she's not looking at me. No, thanks. I think I'll call her Laika. So cute. I love her. 
three months later. Hello. Good morning, Robin. I'm so glad you're awake. I've been rather bored without you. You know what I'm like. I start to get a little existential when I don't have someone to care for. Take your time. I think you're going to have a big day ahead of you. You're a little clingy. Oh. Look at these things. <laughs> How do you like that? Ah! I don't think he cares. Hmm. Well, I got big gloves. And I think I'm playing a teenage boy. I'm a little shorter than I am in real life, but not much. Why not call out for survivors? Use your emergency radio. Someone might be listening today. Ah. Uh, you know, I had one of those. There it is. Let's take a look around first, huh? Let's see, we got giant straws for our giant juice boxes. We got tools. And a domino piece. Full moon. I don't. <laughs> Are we on a moon or a planet? Tomorrow. I guess that's where we're headed. Or where we are? Did we actually make it there? I don't know. We got a hat I can't pick up. Got a robot arm. That seems safe to have around. Jacket. Clothes, very typical of a teenage boy who has no parental figure <laughs> to make him clean up. Got these little drones. Huh. And we got. Pretty sure he's one of you, right? Like you and. This guy? Well, I guess his logo is bigger. Do y'all know each other? Yeah. Got these giant books. The first men in the moon. In the moon? And we got... Songs of... It's in something... PCP companion. Is that a drug? Aw oh, man, dude, we get to chill out with our PCP companion. What's up, man? Yo, I have no idea what PCP does to somebody. <gasps> Hello! Look at you. I love you. Oh my god, he's a Nautilus. He's just doing his own thing. Look at you. I'm glad he doesn't mind the lack of space. Or filtration. Or breathing stuff. I can't... Can't interact with him. Hi there. He's so cool. Look at that. I love that. Can I... Nope. Ooh, I can go through it like this. <laughs> Got a lot of garbage. Baseball. Good night. No. And of course, we have our namesake, Robinson Crusoe. I love these kind of books, uh, book covers. They have them at, like, um, Barnes & Noble, usually. It's the one that have It's usually public domain novels, or otherwise really popular novels like Jurassic Park and Lord of the Rings. Um, but... They they usually have these gorgeous covers and they're hardback and they're really well made, and just every once in a while they'll they'll switch them out. I don't go to Barnes and Noble that often though. I don't know if they still do that. I used to go about once or twice a year. I applied for a job there once. They didn't accept me though. Press A. This is Pod three zero nine one six five nine. Broadcasting on all frequencies. 
If there are any other survivors out there, let me know. Higgs is getting pretty lonely. I know there's never been a response in over a year, but you really should take this seriously. Hmm. This warning thing didn't load in correctly. Well done. Let us celebrate. Is that the year? 2000... or 22... I mean, okay, so 2,221 uh, New Year's. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Got boxes here, and we got bowling pins for some reason. Hmm. That's cute. A little teddy bear, and surprised we. I guess we're using them more as tables, but I'm surprised we're not using them as proper seats. Then again, they don't exactly look comfortable. Got this. I assume we're using this as more of a bean bag. And we got our banjo ukulele not a guitar got some kiwano we got some potatoes like an infograph on potatoes yeah it straight up says potato but I can't read the text we also seem to have some on the ground here which is not very sanitary do you want ants because this is how we get ants Stop playing dumb, I know you know better. Got... Dominoes? Can I... Can I knock down the dominoes? There's a box here. Meh. No. No, I cannot. There we go. How long have we been on this planet now? 385 days. What? We've been here for over a year? Oh man, this kid's doing great. We still have some juice boxes left and everything. I would be worried about uh, required fruit-related nutrients if there's not enough fruit on this planet, but maybe we get enough citrus from the Kiwano on this planet. Then again, if we have dinosaurs, I guess the flora is probably also Earth-like, hopefully. Then again, the dinosaurs are not 100% Earth dinosaurs either. They just very closely resemble dinosaurs. But they have, like... Like, you saw the baby T-Rex had, like, extra horns and all of that. So, eh. They're mostly dinosaur. <laughs> so then, I guess that's mostly the nutrition we need. Can we, like... Climb up the ladder? Can we just... No, thanks to this conveniently placed chair, they don't have to model whatever is up there, which I assume is just sleeping stuff. These appear to be storage things, or maybe that's just the way they did the wall. Uh... This is an emergency escape pod from the Desev Esmeralda. In case of planet fall, your priority is to survive and regroup with other crew. Ensure that your emergency location transponders are activated in the pod and on your suit. Ensure you have the following essentials in order of priority. Water, food, shelter, heat, and signaling capability. Regularly broadcast your status and monitor all channels for other survivors. Most importantly, stay calm, stay with the pod, and conserve energy. That exploded, so... In hindsight, I think we're doing quite well for ourselves. Well, I guess, uh, let us go on. I, I think we've explored what we can. I will say, it's a little cursed that our station was named the Esmeralda. Because Esmeralda, spoilers, in the book she dies. So... Yeah, in hindsight, it's not as bad as calling it, like, the Space Titanic or whatever, but it's up there. <laughs> it's it's a little cursed. A little, maybe we shouldn't name it this uh, reference. Anyway, it's a nice name, though. I like it overall, and I'm sure there's, like, an extended uh, reference in addition to the literary one, but yeah. 
All right. How do we open this? Just kind of. Ah! Pressure? No. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there we go. That's not my hand. <laughs> Hello. Alright. This is cool. Still standing, even after a year. Can you believe we used to live on that ship? Hurtling through the stars at 67 million miles per hour until... She was a magnificent ship, wasn't she? Other people must have got off as well. How long until we find them, Higgs? You've done extremely well to survive this long. Others might not be so resourceful. Dang. She's big. Like... Woo! I guess for a station that makes sense, though. Look at this view, though. Damn. Like. Oh, I saw this in the trailer. It's the SOS. Yeah. Damn. Damn. And look at this view. Damn. <laughs> this looks really cool. Hello. I guess we should get a few things out of the way. I'm trying to talk, please, whoever is doing that. So, I guess I should get a few things out of the way while we got a nice view. Um, first of all, I'm going to try my best to limit my head movements um, as I turn. I don't know if it's going to look artificial or if it's going to look decent. But uh, I'm going to just try to keep everything as smooth as possible for as much as I can remember to. Uh, because my natural head movements, uh, closely resemble a spastic bird. So, uh, I assume you guys don't want me to, uh, tilt the camera all over the place. And at, like, 50 miles per hour as I break my neck every time I turn my head. Uh, that's just how I do. I, I have very fast reflexes, thanks to a lifetime of video games and cats. So, I, I, I'm gonna try to limit that, though. So, if it looks artificial, I'm sorry. The second thing I want to get out is that... I'm sorry that the visuals are not gonna be perfect. I'm sorry that the visuals are not going to be perfect. I'm going to do what I can to keep everything looking decent. Um, keep hearing something. Uh, but if something goes wrong, I I I can only do so much <laughs> visually. I mean, um, I do a hundred percent plan to review this game. I promised that a few months ago. And I, I'm going to go forward with that. So, if you see cuts and all that stuff, I'm sorry. I'm going to stop and stare at things a lot. Uh, just for the sake of doing footage. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to record as much of this game as possible. Again, because I do plan to review it. Um, and I have tested this game a little. I have not played significantly into the game, but I have tested it. Uh, trying to get the graphics reasonable. It's literally taken me multiple weeks uh, to do that, so <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. This might be the best you're going to get in terms of visuals. <laughs> um, just because, uh, I don't know. I, I guess the recording software eats up too many resources. I don't know how to get rid of this wavy outline stuff, by the way. It's like baked into the game. I genuinely don't know how to get rid of this. I've tried changing all the settings, and for some reason, my hands and him specifically moving about does like this wavy shit. 
I have no idea why. Literally, no idea why. Uh, this is the only game I know that does that too. So, I don't know. I think that might be all to get out at the moment. Oh! One more thing. If you go into the menu here, first of all, map. Very nice. A little hints at where we're going to end up going. And uh, it tells us what we need to do. We got the Infotarium, which we're not going to do yet. Uh, we're going to wait till the game introduces that. Uh, and we got the Progress. Which is, I think, all the Steam achievements. But the game has, like, universal achievements. So, so yeah. Uh, I guess that's uh, all you guys need to know for now. Let's start exploring properly. Whoop, hello. Where's Laika got to? Why don't you try calling it? Uh... Okay, this button. Laika! That beast is up in its hole, hiding from shame, I'd imagine. I'm afraid we have some work to do before you can play with your pet. Best you take a look around. What'd she do to be hidden from shame? What the heck, man? You're over here, hating on my pet dinosaur. That's all fucked, you know? She's my pet dinosaur. You're just just because you don't have a pet dinosaur. I don't know where I'm going with this. Look at the state of this thing. To think we've spent so long trying to keep dinosaurs out of our camp, and now we've gone and let one in. Let's fix the scarecrow. It's going to need two arms, a head, and a hat to be useful. The multi-tool will fix this up in no time. What the heck, man? Alright, um... So I'm just gonna pull from the SOS? Here we go, here we go. Uh... Drop. Boop. Well done. Yeah! So that works. Boop. Great. Good. Nice. Well done. Any survivor passing nearby can see this clearly. Yeah, but... I mean, I guess it's obvious it's not natural, but... I don't think it'd make a very good scarecrow. Why don't you shoot some hoops? I'm trying to, man. Yay, I did it. Eat shit. Okay, so I have to try it at least once for the sake of science, but uh Whoop. That can't be <laughs> Well then, at least now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Shoo. Yeah, I'm sorry, but this this right here is a no go. Like I know he's, like, the only human here, or whatever, but... Can I mess with this? Alright, who wants the shit bucket? <laughs> Surprised they didn't actually damage you. Ah! Dude! 
dude! There's a platypus in my toilet! Just because I don't feel comfortable shitting on a platypus. Great! <laughs> Good job! You're now able to figure out a basic outhouse. <laughs> He still doesn't have anything to wipe his ass with, so, you know, less we think about it, the better. Wouldn't it be tragic if after all this time you finally receive a message from another survivor and there's no power to receive it? Oh shit, my water purifier. I got this, I got this, okay. Here, the water turbine's clogged, and that's the cause of the power outage. All that roughhouse dinosaur play, it must have tipped these barrels into the water. Power generation is not optimal for water. Excellent, we have power. But I can see now that the circuits need repairing too. Oh, wonderful. I can actually help you with that. Point at Higgs. Press A. Point at him. Oh, hello. Hello? Okay, I can figure this out. Good to feel useful. The power should be flowing perfectly now. The wicks will be back online. Hold up. So, does this purify water or? Uh oh. <laughs> Whoops, so much for fixing the power. Speaking of, there's something I need to try.
Move! Shoo! Go away! Why won't you listen to me? These dinosaurs are causing the gate to lock. The gate won't open until those animals move. Maybe your pet could be of some use for a change. I don't think they're doing anything wrong. Robin, I wouldn't get too close to that fence, especially when you look, you know, edible. Drop that ball before it destroys the thing. It's not like we can buy another one. Come on, Laika. Don't worry about Higgs. I just gotta work on your training so that he doesn't blow a fuse. Follow. Kim. Now, big test. Can it remember how to play hide and seek? Head over to the tree there and start the game. Follow me. Hide and seek starts at the tree. Simple creature, simple rules. I'm going this way. I know the way. Do you know the way? Now, which toy is like his favorite? Come along. He can't reach. Micah, Micah. Make it. Nice. Like her? Stay. is a dishonor to the thousands of Higgs units who sacrificed themselves evacuating the Esmeralda. Follow me. <laughs> Laika, wanna play hide and seek? All right, how do we do this? Oop. It's too far away. Call it over. It? Oh, Laika. Um. That's too far away. Come on, Laika. Go. Come on. Now you can start the hide and seek game. My god, you are so adorable. Look at her. How is that not adorable? All right, let's try it now. 10, 9, 8, Seven. That's cheating. Six. Five. No, it's not. Shush. Four. Three. Two. One. 
Ready or not, here I come. Alrighty. Definitely warmer. I think yes, we can hide warmer. in these. Probably not there. Shush. What has it got there? That is a Higgs unit. Get your pet away from him before some serious damage is done. There's precious data in there. We should scan it immediately, Robin. That's a substance painter uh, texture uh, sample model. <laughs> Robin, could you scan the unit, please? I want to check your pet can't damage data cores. If it can, then we should all be very, very afraid. Especially Yeah. Pete. She's fine. She's fine. Hello. Uh. Precious information. Oh. Hello. Oh. Well done. A creature scanned successfully. I'll add that data to your infotarium now. Look at you! I love her! Anyway. Is this thing? Oh, hello. How did he get here? We don't just blow into the camp. Your friend must have brought him here. There are teeth marks on the panels. It's chewed on him. Oh, calm down. This is a colony unit sent ahead of the Esmeralda to lay the foundations of our society. A piece of your history. Hmm. Oh, look, it's got a little guy inside. Hey, little guy. Uh, you're dead, so sorry about that. Oh, look, we can look at you really closely now, though. Look at all that texture work. Anyway, what are we doing? Hey, that's how much power my headset has, I think. Growbot Descent in orbit of Tyson 3. I think Tyson 3 is the planet we're on. Which, by the way, you know how we... You know how we saw the planet before? Uh, we saw Earth before? Well, look. Uh, Tyson 3, I think. I think this, this is where we are. <laughs> It's not Earth anymore, I know that much. Oh, uh, how do I get back to where I was? Why is it, like, really off to the side? Hmm. Hello. Esmeralda Command. Hello? This is Colony Higgs 11886 from the Autonomous Go Ahead Probe. I am pleased to report we have successfully reached Tyson 3. Atmospheric entry of all agricultural capsules is currently in progress. As we still haven't been in communication with you for years, we immediately initiated our own landing protocols. I think the fault is on our end, though. Something happened to us in deep space. Would you look at that? Colony mission, colony foundations, somewhere on Tyson 3. So now they've landed. And they're making little, uh, little huts, which is actually pretty cool of them. That's, that's pretty neat. We got the Higgs units, but we also got like these crab things over here. And... I guess these are the gates? I guess the gates can, like, roll around? Hmm. That's cool. Hello, Command. It's Colony Higgs 11886 again. As I still haven't heard from you, I just wanted you to know we have begun to build some basic structures. 
Although there aren't any humans here to live in them yet, obviously. It's not going as well as we'd hoped. There's wildlife. It's not exactly safe on the surface, but at least the atmosphere is breathable. I see. Pattern B tube apartments. Location unknown. Is this like the hypothetical? Those are nice. We got like a speed future car there. Yeah, you know that's hypothetical because look, there's the space station in the back. Yeah, about that space station. At least we got the grill though. Command? Hello? You are coming to Tyson 3, correct? I don't know how long we've been here. My clocks stopped functioning. I'd send you another image of the surface, but my camera's out of commission too. Those pattern B tube apartments you've got coming will be nice, won't they? Entertainment systems, rainforest showers, barbecues, shiny and dry Higgs docks, spare parts, and... Please come. We're waiting for you. Aww. Poor little guys. Well, I'm sorry, but you get me instead, and I'm far from a utopia. Oh, look! I guess this is what he's supposed to look like undamaged. Hmm. These guys built a whole landing site. If our crew were out there, that's where they'd start the colony. These Higgs units can tell us where they are. There must be more. Let's find them. I see. Well, the data here suggests there are three more nearby. This way. Send it to the gate here. These animals are causing the gate to lock. Uh... Boop, go there. I don't want to scare off those things yet. I just discovered the whole scanny thing. Follow. Here, let me scan them real quick, and then we'll... Yeah, see? It's got a little scanny symbol. Cool. Yeah, look at that. Now have it bark at them. What? Processing. Capriosaurus? Huh. Can I... Whoa. Oh. It did seem to work a little. Here we go. Scan Boop. and add. I think we should take a look at that gate, Robin. All right. So, well, now my thing's off screen. Now I gotta scan everything while I can. Oh God. Ah oh, no! This is quick. Come back. No. <laughs> Remember to view them in the infraterium. Butterfly. Alright, I got an idea. You can hide in these things, right? Or I can, I think. Yeah, that's what the sound is, right? So what if I hide in this thing? And then... There! Yeah, go there. There! What? Come back! Go there! Damn it! I'm going this way. Follow me. Data converted. Nice. Woo. Mole, huh? 
I'm playing sitting down now, so this might be a bit weird. Pigs menu? Progress. We got colony mission. Woo! Stuff that's story related. Would you look at that? Wait. Did scanning Laika also count as Tyrannosaur? And we got undercover agent, <laughs> which is glasses and safety helmet. Cool. I just did it because those were the coolest ones in there. And then air creatures. Butterfly? Be to help? Finish every... Oh. Spoilers, I guess. Catch a flight. Doesn't say... Waste management. That was messing with the toilet. Repairman, energy... Hmm. Hello. Hey, wait, where's our... Where's our buddy? How you doing, my dude? Do you mind if I just, you know... I guess it might be a little better to do it from a distance. Ooh, okay, there we go. Processing. Chameleon. Hey, my dude. You take care of yourself, man, okay? Scanned and added. Go there. Remember to view them in the Oh, this one's much easier. This one didn't even see me. Data converting. You're turning into quite the naturalist. What the hell is this thing? In the infratarium. If Fence you keep bot. this up everywhere you go, we'll soon have huge volumes of data. Good. Fence spot, eh? What is it? Oh, there we go. Fence spot. New messages. Oh! Oh, dang! This is like concept art or something. It's from Sophia. Beep beep. I am Fence Spot. I will protect you from anything under one meter tall. I am useful. Aw. Oh, this has like a whole thing. Amit, I don't understand the joke. Come on, think about it. What if there are aliens on Tyson 3 bigger than one meter? Well, we'll deal with it if that happens. Where do you think he deploys the fence modules from? Oh, I thought... <laughs> I thought this was Sophia being... I thought Sophia was like one of the bots, kind of like the Higgs units, but no. Uh, it's just someone named Sophia making a joke. Where do you think he deploys the fence modules from? You've got the mind of a child. Oh, I guess it does... Sorta of come from his ass. Huh. It took me a bit to realize what they meant. So those are communicators. Interesting. Can I scan the big boys? Big flappy boys? I don't think I can. They're too big, too flappy. Someone is definitely gonna take that joke out of context. Well, I mean, they would if more than one person watched my shit. Anyway. Woo! Crabby! Crab, crab, crab. You're turning into quite the naturalist. Look at it go! Look at it go into the wall! Into the wall! Yeah! Into the wall! Oh, it's out of the wall! And it's kind of... It is ascended! <laughs> Can I scan the... No. Fishy! Oh dang. Whoa. 
couldn't get the fish fast enough. Oh, cool. Fish, 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 fish. I scan fish. Well done. I return fish to water. I return fish to water? You have to control that creature. It's scaring all the fish away. <gasps> the fish died? No! My dead fish. I would bend down and love on him being dead and all, but I'm already sitting. There's a floor in the way. Whoa. Good job. Oh, this one came out too. Go back in the water, buddy. Come on. I'm gonna scan you, and you're gonna go right back into the water, okay? Oh! Yay! I didn't get to scan it up. And then, like, I ate it. <laughs> Whoa! Can I miss? I picked this up earlier. Yeah. Can I scoop a fish? I don't think this is working. Ah! Wait. Damn. I just want to see if I can catch one. I don't think I can. I assume it's going to just go through it. But I just want to make sure, just in case. <gasps> I caught one! I caught a fish! Oh, shit! And I lost it immediately! <laughs> That's amazing, though. You can catch fish with that thing. Oh, thank you. Oh, no. Come back. I need to scan thee. Shit. Data converting. Oh no. Can I get him? Oh shit. Oh. Huh. Where are the other guy? Can I just... Oh, well... Standing too close to the water will spook the fish. Well, that fish was dead, to be fair, so... I don't think spooking him's a problem anymore. Then again, ceasing to exist apparently is. them in there just yet. Oh, shit. Remember to view them in the internet. Uh, where's the thing? Just pick him up directly? No. Whoop.
So this guy is one of the things, right? So can I... I give you a scan? No, apparently not. I doesn't even react to it. So this actually wants... Oh god. Oh. It made an another one. So it takes parts to make the dragonflies, which respawn anyway, so... How many of these are there to scan? Scan successful. Hmm. Well, I guess I have nothing to barbecue if I can't even carry the fish. If I caught one in the thing, I could bring it over, maybe, but... Eh. I'll add that one straight away. Ooh. Here we go. Hmm. Well, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I've done what I can. Scan what I can. I mean, I'm sure there's a bunch more bugs around that I'm, not, I'm missing. But... I think we're good for now. Processing. Oh, shit. Almost missed a communicator thingy. Go- Growbot. Oh, hello! Hey, you're that little crab guy in the background. I guess not little, but crab guys in the background. Hey, John, today the col today in colony school, we started learning about growbots. You never said how cute they were. Yeah, they're cool. I want one as a pet and to dress in little clothes. When we get to Tyson 3, but you probably won't get one. You see, they're designed for agriculture, not dress up. Spoil sport. Okay. So, Higgs units is that guy. What about creatures? Oh, hello. Beetle, butterfly, dragonfly. Capriosaurus. Hello. They're not loading in correctly. None of these are loading in. Future me, save the reading the things for when they're loaded in properly. one's not either. Alright, here's the Tyrannosaur. Damn. Hello there. You're kinda... intense. A true apex predator, these horned monsters have humongous jaws and a devastating bite. I've observed that they live in matriarchal groups. The females of the species are generally larger, stronger, and more aggressive. So yeah, in case you haven't noticed, uh, in addition to taking place on an alien planet, the dinosaurs are slightly uh, changed, I guess, to reflect their alien nature. So, you know, think of it as, rather than seeing green humans, we see Tyrannosaurs with horns. With extra horns, I should say. With distinctive, uh, ram-like horns. Or, I guess, dragon-like horns. You know what I'm trying to say. This is so cool, though. I get a good look at your, uh, texture work and all that. 
Nice. Don't mind me, I'm just looking at your scales. You're pretty gnarly. Riverfish. Looks like we scanned them all, thankfully. No, it's not loading in correctly. Map? Oh, here we go, yeah. Map, open the gate to the farm. We've done everything else. Alright, so, uh... Go, go! Go roar! That's it. I don't like scaring the poor things, but your friend would have probably eaten them otherwise. Thanks for all your help today, Robin. I know maintaining your home isn't always what you want to do, but it's vital to your survival. And you know that's what I care most about. Hello. Freedom! I would like to check on the farm this morning. I stopped receiving a signal from the Growbot sometime last night. We don't want to run out of food. Mm. Hmm. 